They couldn't have called old Ephraim sinful. But yet, he were a little bit slow. For he'd get through his work very nicely. Where he hadn't much to think about, you know. Now one thing he liked, above all others, were a good football match at Bowerfold. He used to be there in all weathers, and he near seemed to notice the cold. He followed Bridge Celtic where he could do, but sometimes he had to stop for one. So one of his old mates, Willie Higginbottom, They'd call up their house and say how they'd gone on. One day they were playing at Chester. Well, it was too far for Ephraim to go. For if they'd have been playing at Wembley, the old lad would have been there on the front row. When going down the street late that evening, Willie opened Ephraim's front door and shouts in, We've done well, old scholar. We met a draw, Chester. No score. Nine o'clock found him home to his supper. At eleven, he went nicely in bed. About twelve, feel his wife shaking. There's somebody knocking, who said. So he jumps out at bed, hot and bothered, and punts skirting board with his toe. Ooh. Chucking up bedchamber window, Sees old Ephraim on pavement below. Says Ephraim, I'm sorry for it rouse ye. For wakening folk up, it's a crime. For I just had to come round and ask ye. Uh, what were the score? A daft dime. If Lancashire's changing, then England is too. And sometimes it's rather depressing. But we'll still find a smile, if just for a while, through the troubled times we are passing. Yet I fear and 
Till the way ahead is clear Times are grim, no fun at all When your back's right up against the wall Inflation grips us with its might And where's the jack who's still all right Will the last to leave old England Jack who's still all right Will the last to leave old 